All right, this here is just my 16 foot fiberglass fishing canoe that I got for free. Basically had a bunch of holes and stuff in it. It used to be yellow. So I fixed it all and it's been a wicked fishing device for me. So I'll start up front here. Just got our nylon dock rope for the bow line. I purchased these kayak paddle clips that I drilled through and bolted and sealed around to keep the paddles on the outside of the boat. They're not rocking around inside, not getting in the way, not kicking it around. Next up is I got a 700 cranking watt deep cycle battery with this Min Kota battery box. This is awesome. You don't have to take the lid off to connect the trolling motor. It's got these 12 volt accessory outlets on the side, which I've wired my fish finder to. It's got 10 amp breakers for the accessories, 60 amp breaker for the trolling motor, and it's got this wonderful little test light here. I don't know if you can see, and it is full. I just bungee that cord, bungee cord that to the boat so it doesn't slide around when loading into the water. I installed these insulated wire retainers just to run the cables along both sides of the boat so they're out of the way. I've got over here a Hummingbird Piranha Max 175 fish finder. It's not top of the line, but it does the job. It awesome, awesome, good to depth, great water temperature easy to see in the sunlight. And you can see I've ran the wires back here to the trolling motor which I installed this transducer mount for the trolling motor which I got off of Amazon for about $20. Very good investment. Keeps it safe. Great picture. This trolling motor is a Shakespeare 32 pound thrust. I think I got this at Canadian Tire on sale for $100 and to be honest with you I've seen guys with 50 pound thrusts 80 pound thrust on a canoe and I think that's a little overkill. This thing has a wake behind it and this thing is pretty heavy when it's loaded up with two guys and all our gear. Perfect trolling speed, five, three reverse and five forward speeds. Like I say, it turns on a dime. Uh, there's an aluminum motor mount bracket that I got just off of a local buy and sell website that I just see clamped to the side. It works beautifully. It's very strong, it's not going anywhere. Again, more paddle clips. This is a Bass Pro Stadium seat. It actually just buckles underneath here, and let me tell you, you spend six hours in a canoe oh, on those regular leather padded seats. Those aren't seats, that's a torture device. This, awesome, I'm gonna get another one for the front so that my passenger isn't suffering all day. Uh, I picked up this Canon multi-position rod holder. I think I got it for about $20, which is cheaper than Amazon sells it for at a local sporting goods store. Uh, just a short net that I caught from the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters. And then I got another little cheap rod holder here that I just see clamped to the side. I can't figure out how to mount the other one to the front without actually drilling some holes in the boat again. And I don't really want to do that. Um, just got the ruler on the side with all the slot sizes for your typical fish, bass, walleye, lake trout, pike, musky. You got it. And then always carry my PFD, my little CRKT minimalist knife right there. And I have a lanyard attached, as you can see the orange paracord with a Fox 40 whistle in it, because you never know. And float box, good for your phone, your car keys, your wallet. Usually I've got a magnesium flint in here. I've got a magnesium flint everywhere in my tackle box. It's, you never know. You never know what happens, especially when you're canoeing on a back river. But that's my boat. Uh, These are just my fishing rods. Abu Garcia Aura SX Baitcaster with a Veritas rod. And an Abu Garcia Cardinal STX 30 spinning reel. Streamside Predator rod. Beautiful rods. Very sensitive. I recommend either of these setups for anyone doing bass, pike, walleye, any of the lake trouts around here. Well, that's my boat. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if uh, you ask any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks, bye.